Good morning, students. Today I am going to teach the continuation lesson of lines and angles. Continuation lesson of lines and angles. So in the previous class, we already discussed point, line, line segment, angles. So different kinds of angles, acute angle, obtuse angle, straight angle. Okay. So this this type of angles are we already discussed. Complementary angles. The sum of any two angles is equal to 90 degree. That is called complementary angles. The sum of any two angles is 180 degree. That is the straight angles or supplementary angles. Okay. So any two angles are linear pair. Then the sum of these two are linear. Uh, sum of these two angles are 180 degree. So we are all we are discussed. These are all factors. Point, line, line segment, ray. Okay. So now in this class, I will discuss transversal ray. Transversal line. Transversal line. See how the student observe the figure. Here observe three side lines are there. One is M line, N line, L line. The line L intersect, intersect the lines M and N at point P and Q. At a distinct point P and Q. Distinct, different points. Okay, line L intersect the line M and N. In two distinct points. Two distinct points means uh, two different points. P and Q. Okay. So this line L we call transversal line. What we are called? Transversal line. Transversal line means a line intersect two or more lines at a distinct point is called transversal line. Again, I will tell transversal line means a line intersect. A line intersect two or more lines at distinct point. At distinct point. So that line we call transversal line. So a L line L is called transversal line. Okay. So observe the figure. So in the point P, so there are four angles formed. See, one, two, three, four. Okay. So in the Q also, there are four angles formed. One, two, three, four. I will give name for this. One, angle one, angle two. Angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7, angle 8. Transversal line means a line intersect the two lines or two or more lines at a distinct point that is called transversal line. So here line L, transversal line L the, uh, intersect the line M and N at point P and Q. So in the hang, in the point P, there are four angle form. In the point Q also there are four angle form. So I will give name for this angle one, angle two, angle three, angle four, and angle five, angle six, angle seven, and the angle eight. Okay. So now observe here. Angle one, angle five. Observe transversal ray left side line. Upside. See, transversal ray left side. This line upside. So, here yeah, angle 1 and angle 5. 
angle 1 and angle 5. So then angle 2 and angle 6. So these two are transversal ray right side. Transversal ray right side uh, uh, lines upside. So angle 2 and angle 6. Angle 2 and angle 6. So then angle 4 and angle 8. Angle 4 and angle 8. Angle 4 and angle 8. See how to transversal ray left side. Both are the transversal ray left side. But lines downside. See 4 angle angle 8. So in this also transversal ray right side. Both are there in transversal ray right side. Line downside. See angle 3 and angle 7. Angle 3 and angle 7. So these four pairs of angles are called car corresponding angle. What we call corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Angle 1 and angle 5, angle 4 and angle 8, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7. So these are called corresponding angles. Angles. Okay. So next observe here. Yeah? Angle 4 and angle 6. Angle 4 and angle 6 in line either side of the angles. And also both are in the interior. Both are in the interior. So these two are called interior alternative angles. Interior alternative angles. Alternating angles in that interior exterior exterior interior exterior. See angle four and angle six. Angle four and angle six. So these two are interior alternating angles. Angle 4 and angle 6. These two are interior alternating angle. And also one more pair is there interior alternating angle. Observe here. Angle 3 and angle 5. Angle 3 and angle 5. Angle 3 and angle 5. Angle 4 and angle 6. So these two pairs are called interior alternating angles. Now observe angle 1 and angle 7. Observe the figure. This is more important. Angle 1 and angle 7. Angle 1 and angle 7. So these two are called exterior alternating angle. So these two are called exterior alternating angle. Angle 1 and angle 7. Angle 1 and angle 7 are called exterior alternative angles. See here also one more pair. Angle 2 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 8. So these two are exterior alternating angle. Now observe. Angle 1 and 3. Angle 1 and angle 3. Angle 2 and angle 4. So in the point of Q, in the point of P, what is this P? Angle 2 and angle 4. Angle 1 and angle 3. So these the two pairs angles are equal. Why? Because these two pairs vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite Angles. So angle 1 is equal to angle 3. Angle 2 is equal to angle 4. So in the point, in the vertices is Q also. Angle 5 is equal to angle 7. Angle Q, angle 6 is equal to angle 8. Angle 5 is equal to angle 7. Angle 6 is equal to angle 8. So these two also paid up vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle. That means yeah, the line L and the line N intersect each other at point Q. Intersect each other at point Q. So these two are intersecting line. 
so that is this opposite vertices angles are equal so angle 5 is equal to angle 7 and angle 6 is equal to angle 8 so these two vertices angles are equal okay so then next interior angles are the same interior angles are the same see how the interior angles on the same side of a transversal line same side of a transversal line see angle 4 and angle 5 angle 4 and angle 5 angle 3 and angle 6 so these uh, angles are called what we call allied angles allied angles are consecutive angle what we are calling allied angle Halai angle. Interior angles on the same side of same side of transversal ray, transversal line, transversal line is called halai angle or consecutive angles. Halai angle or consecutive angles we are calling. The next we are going to add signs. See how so real. Here line M and L not parallel. Observe here M and L, M and N, line M and L, line N are not parallel to each other. So that these two, these corresponding angles are not equal. But line M and line N are parallel. See how sir? Here observe, observe the figure, line M and line N. So these two are parallel to each other. These two are parallel to each other. Line M and line N. These two are parallel to each other. In the previous class, we already discussed parallel lines. Parallel lines, the distance between any two lines is always the same. See, observe your notebook. See, these lines are parallel to each other. Lines are parallel to each other. The distance between any two lines or any three lines is same. So that is parallel lines. Here M and N are parallel lines. So line L is the in transversal ray, transversal line. So transversal line intersects the intersect the M at point P and intersect the N at point Q. N at point Q. Transversal line L intersect the parallel lines M and N at point at a distinct point P and Q. So here angle formed in the point P. There are four angles are formed in the point Q also. There are four angles formed. So now give now I will give name of the angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7 and angle 8. So I am already explained the corresponding angles here. So corresponding angles. So the first axioms. First axioms. If a transversal intersect, if a transversal line intersect the parallel, any two parallel lines, then the corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. That is the axiom. First axiom. So then the second axiom. If transversal line intersect the two parallel lines. If transversal line intersect the two parallel lines at a two distinct point. At a two distinct point, then the alternating interior angles and alternating exterior angle are 
equal. Alternative exterior angle and alternative interior angle are equal. That means here, observe, angle 1 is equal to angle 5, angle 2 is equal to angle 6, angle 1 is equal to angle 8, sorry, angle 4 is equal to angle 8, angle 3 is equal to angle 7. The corresponding angles are what equal. Corresponding angles are equal. Okay. So then alternative interior angles also equal. Alternative interior angles are. See, observe. I will give some degrees. Uh, imagine this is uh, 120 degree. Angle 2 is equal to 120 degree. So this equal sum of these two 180 degree. Why? Because these two are linear pair or supplementary angles. Here L A stand on a line M. So that sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degree. So 180 degree means these two are supplementary angles. So now this is 120 means angle 1 is equal to how much degree? 60 degree. Angle 1 is equal to 60 degree. So now observe. This is 60 means this is also 60. Why? Because these two are vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle. Angle 3 is equal to 60 degree. So this is equal to 120 degree. 120 degree. The corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are equal. So angle 1 is equal to angle 5 means. Angle 1 60 means angle 5 also 60. Angle 5 60 means angle 6. So this is 120 degree. So this opposite, this is 120 degree, this is 60 degree, like that. Okay, so now observe. So for I sign that. Interior angle on the same side of the transversal. Interior angle on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. If observe angle 4 and angle 5. So these two are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So sum of these two is equal to 180 degree. 120 plus 60 is equal to 180 degree. So here also 60 plus 120 is equal to 180 degree. So angle and interior angle on the same side of the transversal. Same side of the transversal is supplementary. Okay, so then interior alternative angles, interior and alternative angles are equal. See, observe interior alternative, interior alternative means the angle 4 and angle 6. Angle 4 also 120 degree, angle 6 also 120 degree. And angle 3 is equal to 60 degree, angle 5 also 60 degree. So interior, interior alternative angles are equal. So then after exterior alternative angles, exterior, see observe, this is 60 degree, this is 60 degree. Angle 1 and angle 7, angle 1 and angle 7, these two are equal. So these two are in the exterior alternative angles, exterior alternative angles. So angle 2 and angle 8, so these two are also exterior alternative angles. This one relative means this also 120 degree. Okay. So then next. Lines parallel to the same line are parallel to the same. Lines parallel to same line. Lines parallel to the same line. Here observe.
लाइन एल यम यन लाइन एल यम यन सी ऑब्जर्व लाइन एल इज पैरेलल टू लाइन यन लाइन एल इज पैरेलल टू लाइन यन एल इज पैरेलल टू यन ओके सो द लाइन एल इज पैरेलल टू यम लाइन या एल इज पैरेलल टू यन लाइन एल इज पैरेलल टू यम हियर लाइन एल पैरेलल टू बोथ यम एंड यन सो पी इज अ लाइन इट इंटरसेक्ट द थ्री लाइंस एट डिस्टिंक्ट पॉइंट ए बी and c a b and c l line l is parallel to line n line m is parallel to line n so the transversal line p intersect the line l m and n at a distinct point a b and c a b and c here observe observe these two lines l l and m these two lines so in these two the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding and the corresponding angles are equal and alternating interior and interior angles are equal exterior angles are equal sum of interior angles on the same side is a 180 degree that is supplementary so these are all concept see so you can compare to n and n also line l and n see this is 1 this is 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 observe here here are some angle 2 is equal to angle exterior alternative angle angle 2 is equal to angle 8 angle 1 is equal to angle 7 here angle 2 is equal to angle 6 why because these two have corresponding angles angle 1 is equal to angle 5 so these two are corresponding angles corresponding angles are equal so compare to these two lines okay right i will give this is 110 degree 110 degree What about angle two? So this is seventy degree. Okay. So then this is under the tangent. This is seventy degree. Okay. Compare to these two lines. Compare to these two lines. So this these two have corresponding angle. So that this is equal to under the tangent. Then these two have corresponding angles. This is equal to seventy degree. Okay, so then these two are vertically opposite angle. This is under ten degrees. This also under ten degree. This is seventy degrees. This also seventy degree. Okay, so now compare the L and N line, line L and line N. So compare these two. Here also observe this angle one and angle five. Angle one and angle five are equal to corresponding. Angles are equal. Then angle two and angle six. These two have corresponding angles. So as usual, angle three and angles. These two have corresponding angles. Angle four and angle eight. These two have corresponding angles. So observe here. Angle two. So this angle. Angle six. So these are all corresponding angles are equal. So that if lines. L is parallel to N and L is parallel to Yam. Then Yam line Yam is parallel to line N. Line Yam is parallel to line Yam. So this is lines parallel to the same line. Okay. So here the M is parallel to L. N is parallel to L. Means. Yam and N, both the lines are parallel to same line L. 
same line L so that M is parallel to L. M. M line is parallel to line M. Okay. So next. Some some problems on this method. Observe your problems. Find the value of x and y. Find the values of x and y. X and y. And then show that AB is parallel to CD. So this is AB. This is CD. So this is line L. Okay. Here observe. Line AB. AB is parallel to CD. We have to show that angle. This angle they given 50 degree. This is x. We have to find out x value and also y value. This is 130 degree. Now observe here. Yeah? Give name for this P Q. Angle P. Angle P M A. Angle P M A is equal to 50 degree. Angle P M B. We don't know. So these two are linear pair. So sum of these two angles is equal to how much degree? 180 degree. Angle P M P M A plus angle P M B is equal to 180 degree. So that angle P and A we know that how much degree? 50 degree plus P and B we don't know. We have to find out is equal to 180 degree. Angle P and B is equal to 180 minus 50, 130 degree. So this is 130 degree. Okay. So now observe. Angle P M B is equal to 130 degree. So M is the distinct point. So line L intersect the A B and C D at a distinct point M and L. So here M produced. There are four angles. Okay. So these two angles are vertically opposite angle. Therefore X is equal to how much degree? 130 degree. X is equal to 130 degree. So now observe this X is equal to 130 degree. Here this is 130 degree. This opposite Y also is equal to how much degree? 130 degree. Y also is equal to 130 degree because vertically opposite angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles are equal. So here also vertically opposite angles are equal. That is, that's why x value 130 degree. Here also vertically opposite angles are equal. So that uh, y value also 130 degree. Here also x and y. X and y both are interior alternating angle. X and y both are interior alternating angle. So these two are interior alternating angle. So that these two are equal. Both X and Y both are equal. So alternative angles are equal means AB and CD both are parallel. AB and CD both are parallel. Why? Because here alternative angles are equal and the corresponding angles are also equal. See how sir? This is 130 degree. This, this is a and Y. So both are corresponding angles. Both are corresponding angles are equal means uh, AB is uh, the line AB is uh, parallel to line segment CD. Okay. 
Next one more. One more color. Observe these three lines. These three are parallels A, B, C, D, and E, F. C, D, E, F. So these three are parallel. So it, line L intersect these three parallel lines at a distinct point. Distinct point. Find X, Y, and Z values. X, Y, Z values. X, Y, Z values. And they give up. A, B is parallel to C, D. C, D is parallel to E, F. That means these three lines are parallel. These three lines are parallel. And they give up. Y is to Z is equal to. Y is to Z is equal to. 3 is to sub y is to z is equal to 3 is to 7. Okay. So now observe here. Let us consider the ratio. Let ratio be take a. Let ratio be a. Then y is equal to 3 times a. z is equal to 7 times a. 7 times a. Y is equal to 3 times A. Z is equal to 7 times A. Here observe. Y value 3 A. Z value 7 A. Z value 7 A. Here observe. These two are huh? interior angles on the same side of the transversal ray. Same side of the transversal ray. So here x and y then sum of these two are equal to 180 degree. Means these two are supplementary angles. So here x and y, x plus y is equal to 180 degree. So this is 3a means this is 180 minus 3. 180 minus 3a. So this is z7a means. So this is also equal to 7a. Why these two are equal to 7a? These two are alternating angles. Interior alternating angles. So that this is also equal to 7a. This is also equal to 7a. Here observe. So this is a straight line. So this is a point. On this point, it makes how much degree angle? 180 degree angle. 180 degree angle. Now add these two. 7a, 7A plus 3a. 7a plus 3a is equal to how much degree? 180 degree. 7a plus 3a is equal to 180 degree. So now 10a is equal to 180 degree. a is equal to 180 by 10. a means 80 degree. A means 18. A means 18. Now find y value and z value first. So now y is equal to 3 into 18. is a 54. So y is equal to how much degree? 54 degree. Y is equal to 54 degree. Then what is z? Z is equal to 7 into 18. So 126 degree. Z is equal to 126 degree. So this is also equal to 126 degree. Okay. So y value 54 degree. 
z value 126 degree so these two have alternating angle so that this is also equal to 126 degree now observe these two these two have corresponding angles what is that corresponding angles so that x also equal to how much degree 126 degree corresponding angles are equal Corresponding angles are equal so that x is equal to 126 degree. So using the concept of corresponding angles of alternative angles, alternative interior and exterior are both and vertically opposite angle and a linear pair. So use these concepts and solve the given problems. Okay. So now I will give one more problem. Try yourself. One more problem I will give. Try yourself. If AB is a parallel to CD, AB is parallel to CD, EF is perpendicular to CD. EF is perpendicular to C. So this is parallel sign, this is perpendicular sign. AB is a parallel to CD and EF is a perpendicular to CD and angle GED is equal to 126 degree. Angle GED is equal to 126 degree. Find angle AGE. Find angle a, G, E, A, G, E and angle G, E, F, angle G, E, F and angle F, G, E, F, G, E. So, note on the figure. So, A, B, E and C, D are parallel lines. A, B, C, D. So these two are the parallel lines. So here EF. EF is perpendicular to CD. EF is perpendicular to CD means angle EFC. Angle EFC and angle EFD. So these two are measured to equal 90 degree angle minded. Okay. So the next step. G is a point on AB. G is a point on AB. So the given angle, which are those? So this is equal to 90 degree. This is also equal to 90 degree. Angle G D the given. G E D. One minute. Angle G E D the given. GED means total this angle they given how much degree 126 degree angle GED they given find AGE that means AGE so this angle you have to find out then after GEF GEF this small angle find then after FGE angle FGE F G, E, this angle. Find it. Okay. So first, you find this angle. 126 degree. Total angle 126 degree minus 90 degree. Then you will get angle G, E, F. Okay. So 126 minus 90, so 36 degree angle this one. So this after, you know that this is 90 degree angle. Okay, so AB and CD are parallel means EF is perpendicular to CD means EF is also perpendicular to AB. It's also perpendicular to AB. So that angle AFE equal to 90 degree, angle F 
Now angle B F E also equal to 90 degree. So these two are also equal to 90 degree. So you know that this angle, this angle, this is 36 degree angle, this is 90 degree angle. So now find out the angle F G E means this angle sum of three. See observe G E F is a triangle. G E F is a triangle. Sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. Uh, 19 plus uh, 36, so 126. Uh, subtract uh, 126 from uh, 180, you will get the uh, FGE angle. FGE angle. So, this is uh, uh, this angle of the use the linear pair. Again, you subtract uh, 180 uh, EGF angle from 180, then you will get AGE angle. Okay, so please student, uh, try yourself that one. Next, we move on to angles of property. Angles of property. Angles of property. So here, uh, you know the triangle. In a triangle, uh, there are three line segment. Okay. And there are three vertices, three angles. Okay. Observe here. This is the triangle. A, A, B, C. Okay. So, in the angle sum property, we prove, we want to prove one theorem. Theorem. Theorem statement statement the sum of the sum of three interior interior angles of a the sum of three interior angles of a triangle is 180. This is the statement. Sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. You have to prove that. Sum of three angles of a three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So now angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Now observe. Collect the data first. Data. A data. A, B, C is a triangle. That is only the data. A, B, C is a triangle. A, B, C is a triangle. So that is data. We want to prove. To prove. Angle ABC, angle ABC plus angle BAC, angle BAC plus angle ACB, angle ACB is equal to 180 degree. So we want to prove this. Angle ABC plus angle BAC are angles ACB is equal to 180 degree. Uh, if you write any single letter also, Write in single letter also. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. So we want to prove this. Okay. So we want some construction. Construction. See, observe the figure. Draw a line EF. Draw a line EF. Is parallel to BC. Draw a line. Draw a line EF. 
EF is parallel to is parallel to BC. Draw a line EF is parallel to BC. So observe the figure here. Use transversal ray concept. Here EF is parallel to BC. Okay. EF is parallel to BC. So imagine here AC is the transversal ray. What is that? AC is the transversal ray. EF is parallel to BC. AC is the transversal intersect. EF and BC and A and C. At A and C. See. A C is a transversal ray. It intersects the EF line at point A and it intersects the BC line at point C. So imagine like that. Okay. Now observe. So this AC is a line. So either side of the either side of the line angle angle on the either side of the line. So these two angles are equal. Why? Because these two are called alternating angles. Alternating angles are equal. Angle F A C, which is that angle F. A, C is equal to angle A, C, B. That means C angle equal. Angle C. What is the reason? Alternating angles are equal. Alternating angles are equal. Alternating angles are equal. So next also here. Parallel lines E of under parallel line BC. The transversal AB intersect the parallel lines E of under parallel lines BC at point A and B. At a distinct point A and B. Okay. So in this also the corresponding sorry alternating angles are equal. Here observe AB is the line. So the angle on either side of the line. Angle E A B is equal to angle B. These two are alternating angles are equal. So angle angle E A B is equal to angle B. So same reason alternating angles are equal. So give this is equation one. This is equation two. Equation one and the equation. Two. Now observe here. Yeah? Angle F A C is equal to angle C. Angle E A B is equal to angle B. So these two are uh, these two pair alternating angle pair of alternating angles are equal. Okay. Now observe the straight line E F. Observe the straight line E F. In the straight line E F, A is a point. The straight line E F, A is a point. Okay, the ray, the line AB and AC, the line AB and AC standing on the line EF, standing on the line EF, then found the angle FAC and angle A and angle EAB. So sum of these three is equal to how much degree? 180 degree. 180 degree. Now angle EAB. Angle EAB plus angle A plus angle FAC. Angle FAC is equal to how much degree? 180 degree. So this sum of these three angles is equal to 180 degree. So we already proved angle EAB is equal to angle B, angle FAC is equal to angle C. Why? Because these two 
pair of alternative angles are equal. These two pair of alternative angles are equal. So instead of angle E A B using equation one and two, using equation one and two, instead of angle E A B substitute angle B, and instead of angle F A C substitute angle C. So angle B plus angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. So this is from equation one and two. From equation one and two. So from equation one and two, instead of substitute angle E A B, instead of angle E A B substitute angle B, instead of angle F A C substitute angle C. Now angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. And then A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Write in the order. N C D is proved. N C D is proved. So this the theorem is very important. Angles of property. The sum of three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So first collect the data. A B C is a triangle. So to prove angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree, then construction draw a line, draw a line B of throw the point A is parallel to B C throw the parallel throw the point A. Throw the point A and is parallel to B C. Proof E F is a parallel to B C. E F is parallel to B C. A C is transversal ray. Intersect E F and B C at point A and C. Then these two alternating angles are equal. Angle F A C is equal to angle C. So then here also A B is transversal ray. Intersect E F and B C at point A and at point B. Then angle E A B. And angle with these two alternating angles are equal. Okay. So then EF is a straight line. A is a point on the straight line. So AB and AC are AB and AC are lines standing on the uh, standing on a line EF and uh, intersect the point uh, A. So now sum of these three angles is equal to how much degree? 180 degree. Why? Because angle on the straight hand straight line, angle on the straight line is a straight angle. That is 180 degree. So sum of these three angles is equal to 180 degree. So angle E A B plus angle A plus angle F A C. Angle E A B plus angle A plus angle F A C is equal to 180 degree. So instead of E A B, we already proved angle B, angle A, and instead of angle F A C, we proved angle C. So sum of these three angles is equal to 180 degree. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. So this is the theorem. Okay. See, observe. This is a triangle ABC. Produce one of the side of a triangle. One of the side of a triangle. Produce one of the side of a triangle. See, produce this side BC to point D. To point D. So this. Angle produced ACD is called exterior angle. What we call exterior angle. Exterior angle produced one of the side. Produced one of the side of a triangle ABC up to point D. So then the produced angle is called 
formed angle is called exterior angle so angle acd is called exterior angle so now observe imagine exterior angle is equal to 120 degree exterior angle is equal to 120 degree so this angle how much 60 degree almost degree 60 degree so this is 60 degree means huh? abc is an equilateral triangle means huh? these are also equal to almost degree 60 degree. see how sir so exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles so this is our own statement so this is also important uh, if they give an, any one of the interior opposite angle and the exterior angle then you easily find out the, the remaining opposite angle what is the angle ACD is equal to angle ACD is equal to angle BAC that means angle A plus angle B. So these two are interior angle, sum of interior angle. Exterior angle is equal to interior sum of interior opposite angles. So these two, these two angles are sum, then you will get exterior angle. So this is the adjacent angle. Angle C is the adjacent angle for exterior angle. But these two are interior opposite angles. Okay. See how so if they give an angle. This is other than 10 degree. So this is 70 degree. Then find this angle. So this is 110 degree means uh, this angle also equal to how much degree this is? Sum of these two angles. Why? Because this is adjacent angle. These two are called adjacent angle. Sum of adjacent angles is equal to 180 degree. So this is equal to 70 degree. So now apply the angle sum property. Sum of these three angles is equal to 180 degree. This is 70 means this is 70. This is 70 plus 70, 140. So 180 minus 140. So this is. 40. Okay, now sum of these two, you will get exterior angle. Okay, thank you.